Hi, Robert. Hello, Nico. Robert, we are starting a, a new section here uh, for church that it's it's called This Time uh, a Few Months Ago. So it's not really This Time Tomorrow as we used to do. It's just This Time uh, so a while ago. So um, you've been on, on a few pilgrim, pilgrimages. Can you share um, where you've been so far? Well, uh, the church organized three pilgrimages over a three year period. And the first one was the Pilgrim's Way, which went from, we walked from Guildford to Canterbury, um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, then the second one was the Camino de Santiago, where I walked from Burgos to Santiago, different people on the walk, walk different distances. And the third one, which we did last year, was St Cuthbert's Way, where we walked from Melrose on the Scottish borders to Holy Island, also utterly beautiful. And all three pilgrimages were quite different in their character, which was lovely. So let's chat a bit about Camino Santiago. Can you share a few objects you picked up and why they're significant for you? Well, one of the objects is this, I hope you can see it there, is this star. Um, it's a drawn star. And a star like this was given by the Augustine nuns at a place called Carrion, between Burgos and Leon on the Camino, was given to every pilgrim at the evening pilgrim service. And it signifies Jesus is the light of the world. The nuns gave a little talk about Jesus being the light of the world. And they expanded on that, of course, but the word light was very significant because not only is Jesus the light of the world, the nuns were very mindful of the fact that none of the pilgrims there wanted to carry a gram more than they needed to be carrying. So if they were going to carry anything out of that church, it had to be light. And this is light. So I've still got it. So that's one object. You want another one? Yes, please. Okay. This is called, uh, this is the pilgrim passport, uh, the credential as it's called, and every pilgrim has, uh, has one of these. And it is everywhere you stop, every hour bag, every place you stay the night um, gives you a stamp. Um, every hour bag gives you a stamp, every cafe gives you a stamp where you, when you stop for something to eat, a coffee or whatever. And it's absolutely wonderful. Every stamp is different. And it's rather like when I was in the Boy Scouts. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like getting your collector's badge. And when I look through these stamps now, each and every one of them tells a story and reminds me, wow, yes, I, okay, that's where I was. That was lovely. I really enjoyed it. The Pilgrim Passport. Every pilgrim has one. And great, you have a third object. Can you show that third object to us? <laughs> And the third option uh, object I know you've seen before, Nico. Um, this is the uh, this is a service sheet that was given out at the uh, pilgrim service one evening um, at one of the churches, uh, and it's got a picture of a little pilgrim on the front um, and a mm -hmm. hymno de pellegrino. Uh, so the hymn's in Spanish, and even I sang the hymn in Spanish although I didn't have a clue what I was singing about. And I remember sending you a, a kind of camera shot of the hymn inside this thing in Spanish. She said, Nico, help. What was I singing about? And you very kindly did. Thank you. Yeah, I remember translating that for you. And could you share uh, something you've learned in, in this pilgrimage and uh, what, what do you take from that and how, what can we learn from it as well? Well, I mean, the, when I th sort of stood back from the pilgrimage uh, during and at the end, um, I mean, there were two things that really uh, were central to it in my book. One was rhythm. Uh, every day had a, a, its own rhythm, but it was a very lovely repetitive rhythm from day to day. Um, you'd get up early in the morning, six o'clock. Um, we'd gather as a group and have a little reflection, a prayer. We were still in the dark. We'd be out of doors, just gathered together and really handing the day to the Lord. 
and, and then we'd set off still in the dark, which actually is incredibly exciting. Uh, and then little by little, uh, the sun comes up and it, it warms up. And before you know it, it's kind of a warm day and you've walked for a couple of hours and there's the cafe you've been longing for and you sit down and have a coffee and a natter and something to eat. And the day carries on in this wonderful way. Um, and so that's one thing, the rhythm of the day. And the other is, uh, and, and this I, I felt so strongly, is simplicity. Uh, I mean, I was carrying everything for three weeks in a rucksack, a 33 litre rucksack, which isn't that big a rucksack. And my total uh, weight that I was carrying was five or six kilos. And to achieve that, you really have to pare things down to the bone. You also have to take things like if it's a t-shirt, well, you need to take a light t-shirt and all that type of stuff. But that was really liberating actually, to just everything you had with you, you actually needed. I was not carrying a single item that uh, wasn't essential, really. And uh, just simplicity. And of course, that's a lesson for us beyond the Camino, I think. We all have too much junk. No, that's great. And it's really great to hear. And, and I think we, we all learn from, from that and, and try and put a, a healthy rhythm, rhythm and simplicity to our lives. So thanks for sharing, Robert. And I hope you have a really good day.